Okay, I mentioned that a servo sound would be a pretty cool sound to use with uh, the animation effects for this particular generator. And Final Cut Pro 10 comes with a large library of sounds. And so I went into the audio Final Cut Pro sound effects. I selected Final Cut Pro sound effects and then I went into the find thing and just typed in servo because there's over 1,300 sound effects that come with this program and you should have a pretty good idea of what you want. See if you can find it in the search. So I typed in servo and there, there's four. So I'm going to rig this real quick. I've got my generator selected and I've got it keyframed so that there's motion in it. I'm going to just move the clip to one side or the other. I'll just start here because left to right is more sensible anyway. On the side of the, if you have keyframes for any item, these little arrows are going to show up. And you can shortcut and go to the next keyframe by clicking this arrow right here. And since this clip is already selected, I can type an M. I can make a marker. And I can click that again, and it goes to the next keyframe, and I'm going to put another marker. And I'll click that again, it goes to the last keyframe, and I'm going to put another marker. Because uh, that's where I want the sound to end. And I'm going to go back to the beginning. I can hit Control, semicolon, line this up with the first, turn on snapping, take the sound I want, and snap it to the playhead. Okay, nice sound, not the right timing. I already know beforehand that uh, stretching out this whole thing isn't going to make it fit exactly right. So what I want to do is go to the end of the first movement sound. Turn off snapping. Which is about right there. I'm going to select this clip. Right there. Command B will split it. And I'm going to move the second. I'm going to move the playhead to control apostrophe. I'll move it to there and then turn off skimming. Turn back on snapping and snap it there. So I need to shorten the second sound and lengthen the first one. I could right click on this clip, retime, and just drag it out to the playhead. Then I can clip on this clip, retime, and drag it to the marker. Like that. That's pretty close. There you go.